Welcome to the Z Gadget review. Today we have uh, the review of the Microsoft Band 2. Um, so if you guys have seen my videos, uh, my prior videos, my overview and unboxing videos, you guys probably heard that I had a medium band. Um, I went ahead and exchanged it for a small band uh, because the medium band ended up being too big for my wrist. Um, what I found out is that the uh, current medium band uh, size for the Microsoft Band 2 is uh, bigger than the Microsoft Band 1 or the original Microsoft 1. And um, it wasn't fitting very well. It was a little big, a little uh, loose. And I was also getting a big gap on this side uh, whenever I, I wore it. It was uh, kind of uncomfortable. So I went to the store and uh, try the small band and ended up being a better fit and this is uh, the band um, so a caveat is that all my exercises and everything that I did during the week was with uh, the medium size band because I was um, I just barely got it exchanged uh, yesterday to this Sunday and I exchanged the band on Saturday and so from Monday to Friday, I was using the, actually from Friday of last week to Friday of this week, I was using the uh, medium size band. But, um, so let's go on with the review. There is a way to download uh, other tiles that don't come originally with the band. One of them is the Xbox Wire, and it gives you like little quick um, Xbox news. Uh, you can press the action button for the band to actually kind of read the news to you in a way. So if you press it here, it will quickly give you a glance of what's on the message. And I was very disappointed with the Subway app. The Subway app, all it does is it shows you, um, I guess what they call fit choices. And it gives you the sandwich that you can get and it breaks it down on how many calories, kinds of fat, um, that's pretty much it. It's kind of a weak addition, if you ask me. There's really no point of having it. Um, I mean, you can go to the, you can buy the food and go to their website and figure out a better detailed nutrition facts on the sandwich that you're buying than what you get here. Now, um, some of the things I notice when you, when I'm outside and under the bright sun is that this depending on what color you use for your background like i have green um it can be hard to read so i did a run which was 26 minutes 37 seconds it tells you how many miles um your average time for miles if you win any elevation and calories highest fire rate your average fire rate uh, a tip so you don't have to wait for uh, your GPS to to catch on when you're ready to run. You can put it as you're stretching or anything and just press the button here and it'll start searching for GPS, which will save you some time. Um, if I want to start running and then I want to wait for the GPS to um, lock in, well, actually, I got the, the GPS and I just press here again and my run will start here to pause it. You'll slide this way and you can end run or resume run. In this case, I'm going to end it because I'm not going to really run. For workouts, it's the same. This is actually for any type of workouts uh, that you do. You put it on and what it'll do is it'll keep track of your heart rate and the time that you are working out for. And like you can see, the uh, screen is very responsive, which makes it very easy to use. So I originally had set it to a darker color. I had a dark blue on it. And it was kind of hard to read when I was in the sun. So I changed it. Because um, I was technically forced to go into a high bright setting, which I did not want. Um, so that was a problem that I originally had. Uh, so I changed the color and the problem was solved. Or you can, like I said, change the brightness on the band and that should solve it as well. So let's begin with the fact that the Microsoft Band is not a smartwatch. It's a fitness tracker and has smartwatch-like features. I've seen many reviews out there where they chastise Microsoft and the band because 
it doesn't have the apps that you will find on a regular smartwatch like um, the Apple smartwatch or Android smartwatches and that's where the problem comes in if you're looking for a smartwatch this is in smartwatch if you're looking for a fitness tracker then this is exactly what you're looking for um, this will give you smartwatch like features for example it will give you a quick glance at your email text messages it will let you know when someone's calling you unless you have a Microsoft phone you won't be able to reply to any of those messages this has a keyboard uh, just like the one that the original pen had uh, and it does work I tried it out with my Android phone and you can actually type up messages without any issues the only problem is that if you have an Android phone or an iPhone you won't be able to send those messages out it will let you type up a message but it won't send it out the only way you will be able to send out a reply message will be using a Microsoft phone and the same thing with Cortana. Cortana works with Microsoft, but it doesn't work with Android or iPhone. I'm hoping that when Microsoft brings Cortana to Android and Apple, uh, then they will be able to work with the band. Um, it kept track of my runs very, very well. Uh, I didn't have any issues. Um, it's a cool feature that you can actually work out like lifting weights and things like that. and it will keep track of your workouts by measuring your heart rate and the time that you were doing the exercise that you set it to and it will allow you to see how many calories you burn while you were doing that exercise it will also show the spikes on your heart rate while you're doing the exercise I did it while I was lifting weights um, and it worked great now the other thing that it has that I think is nice feature is the UV tracker um, if you have problems when you're in the sun if you have very fair skin and you burn easily um, you can set it so it will give you a UV reminder automatically I forgot that I actually said this uh, when I first got the band and um, I found it surprising that while I was walking my dogs or running or something that it the band will tell me that I was out in the sun and I have been out in the sun for a certain amount of time and it will tell me, you know, that I should be applying um, sunblock certain amount of time, certain for certain periods. Uh, you can also put it to test what the UV um, is at the moment that you're testing it. Uh, the sensor for the UV is right here. So you just need to make sure that the UV sensor is facing the sun like this, and it will tell you uh, the UV level at the moment. I use it to sleep. Um, I didn't find it uncomfortable while I was sleeping at all um, I set it up to obviously you know to give me an alarm and I, I set up uh, what they have now which is a smart alarm uh, what this smart what the smart alarm will do is uh, wake you up whenever it notices that it's the best time to wake you up so I could set up my alarm for let's say 7 30 in the morning and it will pick the best time to wake me up within the last half hour of my sleep so in this case between 7 and 7 30 it will track my movements to make sure that it doesn't wake me up while I'm on REM sleep which is the best sleep that you can have um, it will figure out the best time to wake you up as not to interrupt you and wake you up abruptly out of good sleep um, if during the half hour it doesn't find a good window then it will just activate the alarm at 7 30 and allow you to wake up now if you are the type of person that wants to be woken up at 7 30 then maybe keep that uh, smart alarm feature off because it will wake you up earlier than 7 30 or whatever time you put in on your alarm because that was the best time there were a few times that I was woken up at 7 15 or 7 o'clock because he thought it was the best time for me to wake up next we're gonna go into the uh, phone app all right so here we have the uh, microsoft app um, right here you can see all your history profile you can find workouts there so you can pick the type of workouts that you would like uh brand and so you have microsoft shape 
men's fitness, Coles gyms, muscle fitness, bench mark wood, and starting strength. So for example, if I want a muscle and fitness workout, you will go here. You pick bodybuilding, big arms, intermediate, tells you it's 50 minutes. Uh, you can download into your band. And here, it will break down uh, the body parts and what your goals are. And it will give you a explanation of what the workout does. Um, tells you here where you're under schedule. It will tell you uh, the workout. So week one, you work out, then two, three rest, and you work out again, then five, six, seven rest. So you work out twice a week um, in this plan. Uh, the workers usually have videos explaining to you how the workout um, is done to make it easier for you. Then they have their feature workouts right here. Let's find a course. If you like golfing, you can find a golf course. Um, here's where you can go into uh, customizing your band so you can Personalize your band with the different colors that um, they have here, wallpapers, uh, things of that nature. So they have here wallpapers, colors, and when you go into your history, it'll give you a history of all of your activities. So you have your sleep. Uh, your runs, all those things. So let's see here if we have uh, run. So um, I'm, we're currently looking at my girlfriend's application, just so you know. Um, how long the run was for, how many calories were burning, breaks down how much calories in fats and carbs. Um, your elevation, your split, your average pace, average heart rate, the ending heart rate, and it gives you your peak and lowest. And then here has your recovery time. And it tells you your uh, cardio benefit. Now, if you went into the website, all this information will be broken down in more detail for you. All in all, um, I think that the improvement on the Microsoft Band 2 is a big improvement uh, for comfort, more than anything. Uh, they're not reinventing the wheel here. There's tons of features. I mean, I wish there's some things that I do not like that the Band doesn't do, which is, for example, swimming. I wish I could swim with this thing in my wrist instead of having to take it off when, I, when, swim, uh, when swimming. Um, I wish that some of the apps that they were talking about, like the Subway app that they added, did something else than give you nutritional, minimum nutritional information um, on their sandwiches. But again, like I said earlier, the Microsoft Band is not, it's a fitness tracker, it's not a smartwatch. If you're looking for a smartwatch, then you should probably go with um, an Android watch or the Apple smartwatch. And if you're looking for a good, complete fitness tracker that is going to give you a lot of information that is going to be comfortable to wear and that gives Fitbit a run for its money, I will go with the Microsoft Band. It is $250, um, but it's worth it, in my opinion. I also wish that Microsoft will get rid of these buttons right here because the screen is good enough and responsive enough to do a good job of just using it you know as a touch screen device i do not understand why they feel that they need um, the extra buttons down here maybe it's because of how the operating system is set up um, but i wish that it's in this iteration that they would have gotten rid of the buttons it would have been uh, better and i think it would have helped making the device good for swimming you know water resistant if you a person who runs if you're a person who does weights if you're a person who works out 
my recommendation is to get this if you're looking for something that's just going to track your steps and that's pretty much all you care about then i will say stick with the fitbit it's a lot cheaper if you're looking to go an extra step and to look for something that's going to allow you to work out and to give you incentive to working out i will go with the microsoft band